Hello, welcome back to Ragsdale Creek. Been a while since I've been on. I've been uh, been a little bit sick the last three or four weeks. I had a bad respiratory infection with all this uh, uh, hay cutting and around the house and soybeans being picked and corn being picked. and It just gave me a real bad inf uh, respiratory infection and I, uh, I've been in the bed for a while and uh, Still don't feel too good, but I've been out in the shop the last couple of days, and uh, I feel a little better, and uh, so I thought I'd do a shop update, and uh, maybe a health update, too, And but uh, what I've been up to, I uh, got uh, several tools in. I got a 10-millimeter uh, uh, threading tool, and a... Uh, left-handed 16 millimeter threading tool and a uh, right-handed uh, supposed to have been 13 millimeter uh, but it ended up being a six, 16 millimeter tool but the guy was good enough to give me a refund and uh, since it came from China he didn't want it sent back so I got it for free and uh, I uh, got a set of uh, uh, External right and internal right uh, thread insert 16 uh, 16 ER and I got a uh, and, uh, 16 ER and a 16 IR. These are 11 uh, ER, uh, both of them's ER uh, on this one. And uh, they were real cheap, like China inserts are. I think I got. Uh, less than 40 bucks in the whole outfit and uh what i uh i did do a little uh shop thing yesterday or day before uh uh this tool here y'all remember when i made it it's a uh, lathe uh uh high speed steel tools well i guess you could grind carbide but i ain't got a diamond wheel so but uh i added a micrometer to it and I added a uh, set screw over here to hold the micrometer in. It's good press fit. And I had to put it off center just a little bit uh, where I'd have room for the set screw. Uh, it's not off center much, but uh, it's off center enough where the set screw I thought was going to go in, but it didn't. It still sticks out a little bit, but that won't hurt nothing. But I drilled and I step drilled that uh, down to uh, 31 uh, 64 and then I reamed it uh, half inch because that's the micrometer. And I got this micrometer off of eBay. Uh, it wasn't but $9 to stare it. And uh, I couldn't believe that. And I, told, I bought that a long time ago while I was uh, back in the summer when it was too hot to get in the shop. I found it. And uh, what I had to do, I had to come in here, since this is on an angle, I had to come in here with a 9 32nd ball nose and clear for this uh, uh, tube. So, uh, but it works great. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I'm bad about losing stuff and I don't know, uh, it's worse with this set of tools here than any other tool I've got in my box. And that's spanners. I had these two made. I made these. And I tell you, uh, it's for you that beginners that don't know how to make a spanner wrench, you take that dimension Right here. Let's see if I can get it done. Take that dimension. Write it down. Take your dimension of your hole and subtract it. Subtract your hole size from your overall outside dimension. Now you can come in here and check the inside dimension. And write it down. Oh, but then you got to add your hole back to that. Just for you beginners that didn't maybe not familiar with doing that but I did that and uh, let's see uh, well where y'all can see it and I don't get my big arm in the way but uh, all I did is come back and uh, take the center line and when I put them two holes in there I just put them two holes in there on the uh, dimension that uh, like I showed you how to get and then I took half of that and come in here and put clearance for this uh, screw head, I mean this uh, 
threaded head here. I took a dimension and I added uh, 20 thousandths uh, to each side, which is 40 thousandths overall, and I come in there and cleared for it. And that's all you got to do. You got to clear back uh, at least. I cleared back uh, three quarters of the diameter here. That's how deep I went in. How deep I went in with this uh, clearance for this threaded uh, arbor. Three quarters of the diameter of this, and I went back for clearance. And uh, this one, <laughs> it is for my, uh, the one I've had for years. Uh, I've got three of those uh, Harbor Freight cheap uh, side grinders there. Three of them and three tools somewhere. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I, I lost them or, or misplaced them or... Uh, I'm bad about saying I'll, I'll put these right here where I can find them, and then I forget where that place is where I can find them. So, but this is for the uh, uh, air grinder, air side grinder that I've had for years. It was one I used at work because uh, you never could get a plug in at work, but you could always find an air line, and uh, I couldn't find it either. And uh, I had to use it the other day. I got some special wheels for it that uh, does a does a good job on uh, 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 grinding stuff uh, uh, with, that you need. You don't need that aggressive wheel like I've got for the uh, electric side grinders. You need a more finesse wheel, and uh, I've got one on this. Uh, we, me and some boys at work went in together, and we bought a hundred and something dollars worth of wheels, and we split them up among us. That way we could get them um, for about... Uh, uh, two thirds of what the actual price per piece was, and uh, but I've lost it, and I done it the same way I done that other one. I checked it, and this is a tool for one of my other air grinders, and it just happened to be wide enough where I could put two pins in there, and still use it for the air grinder, but I can make a, a spanner for the air tool. <coughs> and a few purchases for the shop, other than the. Uh, is uh I bought one of these. Now it's plastic, but don't let that plastic fool you. It's accurate. I checked it with my Brownie Sharp uh, depth mics, and it is accurate. It is uh, within a thousandth of those. And uh, unless it breaks, this ABS plastic ain't gonna move. So uh, I figure it uh, for uh, I believe I give uh, eight eighty eight for it, and uh, which eBay's charging taxes and everything now, so but uh eight eighty eight you can't uh, you can't even buy a, a digital display for that here. So if it uh if it breaks in some way or another, I'll find out some way to put this digital display on a metal piece if I have to glue it or or epoxy it or something to uh make something else out of it. But uh so far it seems to be the batteries are hold up as long as you keep it turned off. Uh Oh, uh, so it takes a, uh, 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 really, the battery is really, uh, I bought, uh, 10 of them for like $4. And, uh, so some batteries are real cheap for it, but, uh, it does a real fine job. Like I said, I checked it out with my Brownie Sharp Death mics and it was within a thousandth of those. So it, it's, a, it's a, it was a real good deal. And like I said, I made some more purchases for the shop. And I'll show you them. Uh, just something that come up on uh, Facebook that uh, was a real good deal. And the, the young man that had them for sale was a nice young man. He's starting up his shop. He's a knife maker. And uh, I've got a, I've got his card somewhere. And uh, I'll put put that later on in the video maybe. And uh, if y'all are interested in buying some knives. Boy, he's got some fine looking folding knives and some... Uh, 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 fixed blade knives and uh, does a fine job with them. So uh, let's get on over here and look at these uh, two pieces of equipment I bought. Uh, well, actually it's three. I bought a welding table too. Uh, he had it. Uh, had uh, it and uh, uh, a kill which I bought to do some uh, heat treating and uh, maybe uh, I'm thinking about getting into some mold making uh 
I don't know. I've, I've got to talk to somebody about what kind of sand to make. If y'all got any suggestions, put it down in the comments what uh, what kind of sand. Uh, I've looked at Mr. Pete's uh, channel and uh, uh, the way he made his uh, uh, boxes, uh, his uh, mold boxes, and the way they have to be uh, uh, dialed together and all. And Chirpy, I've watched him and... Uh, a few others that uh, uh, does a lot of, uh, Mr. Pete don't do a lot anymore, but uh, Chirpy does a lot, and I've watched him, and he, uh, I believe I'm going to uh, try that later on, maybe next, uh, <clears throat> after the first of the year, and, uh, but I did buy this kill, but I'm going to do, be doing some heat treating in it too, so uh, we'll see what, uh, what, what, uh, the future brings, so I'll show y'all now what, what we got over here. This is the kill here. Uh, the guy that had it, the boy I bought it from, uh, like I said, he's a real nice young man. Uh, he bought it uh, from this guy that was getting out of the business. And uh, he was selling this one. And uh, I reckon the guy took the uh, thermocouple. You can see the holes there in the, uh, uh, I don't know what that hole would be for, and the uh, uh, controller off of it. It's got a switch back down here, but I'm pretty sure that all this other stuff was for controllers. And I got online and uh, done some checking and ordered some stuff for it. And uh, that'll probably be a video later on. Uh, where we uh, put the controllers and the uh, uh, thermocouples and all that in it. but And it's uh, right at 14 inches deep. Like I said, 11 and a quarter square and 14 inches deep. And uh, at, uh, like I, it looks, uh, looks used, but it don't look uh, like it's been abused. So it's got a few chips in the... Uh, inside but not very bad and then i bought this uh uh drill press it's a rigid floor model and i can roll it around outside that's the main reason i got it i can use it outside uh like i'm doing something in the summertime and i don't get to put the uh uh split unit in here that i was planning on this winter if i don't get to get it uh then i can uh Go out under the carport and uh, have a breeze blowing. As, uh, but but uh, it's not it's not any better than the one I got over here from Harbor Freight. Matter of fact, it looks uh, very much similar. This is just a different color and uh, just a did a little bit different on it. Uh, and the motors are uh, uh, matter of fact, Harbor Freight's got a bigger motor on it. And uh, but the gears and everything up top is just exactly like the Harbor Freight, probably made in the same uh, building as the Harbor Freight. But uh, like I said, I got a pretty good deal on them, and uh, I wanted one that uh, uh, I could take outside. I'd been taking that little old bitty one over yonder, and I've got uh, it's a it's a cheap fifty nine dollar Harbor Freight one outside, but uh, it won't do too much. I think this one will uh, will be. Okay, and uh, one of them, I've, uh, I was thinking about it the other night, I may make it, uh, uh, get me a motor and make it where it's reversible, uh, where it goes, has forward and reverse, and uh, use it mainly for tapping. But that's what's going on in the shop. Uh, uh, I, uh, Hadn't been out here much, but uh, uh, I did clean the lathe up the other day. It, uh, it's not, uh, it's uh, wiped it down and oiled it and uh, lubed it and everything. Got it halfway decently clean. I just can't, uh, like right now, I'm out of breath. Uh, I need to uh, go in the house and sit out. I have, uh, was that respiratory uh I've undone out of my meds, so it's uh, not that. So it's 
It's just that it's going to take me a while, I guess, to get back in the swing of things. So, uh, I'll be back in a little bit. I'll show you. I they got the welding table in another uh, place out here, and I'll go out here and show you it. Oh, and I meant to add, add that uh, if any of you guys has got these uh, uh, kills and uh, are uh, using them for uh, melting uh, aluminum and uh, heat treating and whatever, uh, if y'all have got any suggestions for me uh, as, to, as to what uh, what I need to do, uh, please put them in the comments. Uh, cause I'm, uh, ignorant when it comes to these, uh, kills and, uh, I am, uh, open to any and all suggestions. Uh, now let's go out there and look at that, uh, welding table. Okay. I don't know if you can see this cause the sun's so bright out here. Let's see if I can... See if I can move this around. I can't. Uh, but that's the welding table. It's a piece of four by four uh, tubing, quarter inch tubing welded onto a big truck rim. And it's got a, uh, a piece of a, looks like a piece of a steel table welded to the top of it. And uh, it's pretty thick. Uh, it's about three sixteenths thick, so 